This short video is about how to estimate the thrust penetration depth. This is taken from Canadian Foundation Engineering Manual, page 181 to 195. The method is based on modified Bergering equation as shown here. X is the thrust penetration depth. It is related to the surface freezing index, thermal conductivity of soil, and uh, volumetric latent heat of the soil, and uh, lambda coefficient. The calculation using modified Bergering equation includes six steps. The first three steps involve the estimation of the design ground surface freezing index. But the data typically available to us is the long-term mean air freezing index. For design purpose, we typically need to use a, a more extreme weather condition. For example, the, the freezing index for the most cold winter in 10 years. In order to estimate that, we need to convert the long-term mean air freezing index into a design air freezing index to consider the most severe weather condition. After that, we need to convert the air freezing, in, freezing index into a ground freezing index. Then the, the fourth step involves the estimate of the thermal conductivity of the frozen soil. The fifth step is estimate the latent heat of the frozen soil. And the last step is to estimate a lambda coefficient. The calculation can be automated using Excel. I will demonstrate the procedures in the next slide. For example, if the site consists of clay and a clay tail, the long-term mean air freezing index is 1200 degree days. Then we can get the uh, design freezing index based on this correlation. And then using a uh, N factor of 0 0.9, we can convert the design freezing, higher freezing index into a design ground surface freezing index. If we use a thermal conductivity of uh, this value, we can estimate the latent heat of a frozen soil based on the dry density of the soil, the moisture content, and uh, latent heat of uh, water, well, water to ice. Then we can get the uh, latent, volumetric latent heat of uh, the frozen soil. Last is the estimation of the lambda coefficient. The lambda coefficient is related to the thermal ratio beta and the fusion parameter. Those two parameters can be estimated based on the uh, mean 
annual air temperature and duration of the freezing period. The uh, specific heat of dry soil and uh, specific heat of ice is also required. Uh, based on all those inputs for the soil, for the clay, clay tail soil as the project set, the estimated frost penetration depth is about two meter. So that's all the parameters and the procedures required for estimating the frost penetration depth. Thanks for watching.